All right, journalism students. So this tutorial is really about recording a podcast the simple way. So this is the really easy way. It's not gonna be super technical. It also won't be the best quality because it's just gonna be limited. And the advanced one, if you're interested in that, will be a separate video that will come out probably after this weekend. There's just a lot of gear I have to kind of like organize to make sure you can see what you need to see to do it right. But for a simple podcast, all you need is your iPad. Okay, pretty easy. And, um, you know, obviously your voice and your ability to make a podcast. So nothing to it. So what I'm going to do today is just walk you through on the iPad what you need to do. But before we get started, I want to give you some tips about what you want to make sure you do. Number one, um, do your interviews in person, if at all possible, recording with your iPad. Okay, that's going to make it the easiest because you don't have to transfer audio to anything. There is an option on Anchor to record with your friends and it can send someone a link. It works okay. What I found is it sounds a little bit poppy, like it just won't sound very good. So I really encourage you to record in person if you're doing uh, an Anchor podcast. And generally, I think, you know, conversations actually go a little bit better when you're in person. Um, number two, record in a space that has um, something that will uh, diffuse the sound. This is actually a terrible place to record, and you might even hear it on the video because um, the walls are hard, right? And the, everything in here is kind of hard except for the carpet, and so the sound bounces a ton. Two great places that you should have at your disposal if you're recording voiceover stuff is a closet with a whole bunch of like clothes in it because that's going to absorb the sound waves. Or two, your car is a really good place because your car is going to be an enclosed environment and um, it's generally pretty quiet, especially if you're like in a garage or something like that. That's going to work really well. Um, so those are two options there. Um, if you're doing an interview, of course, however, just deal with whatever you have, right? You probably are in someone's office, you're wherever you are. So just do your best with it. Make sure if you're recording that podcast that the iPad is halfway between the two of you and that everybody's speaking up and speaking slowly. Again, this is the simple version. So let me walk you through what you're going to do here through your iPad. So I'm going to share the screen with you just so you can kind of see what it looks like um, from the iPad. And what you're going to want to download is an app called Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R, just like an anchor for a boat. And that is this little squiggly line here over on the left. Um, so you can kind of see it there, that anchor. I'm going to tap that. And it gives me a whole bunch of options. Number one, you can look at your profile and kind of see what you have here as far as episodes. Um, if I tap those episodes, like how to make a simple podcast, that episode. Um, I can actually see the structure of this podcast. So I have um, a little intro, some music, some transition music, interviews, a recording that I actually did over the internet. So judge it for yourself. And then the end of the first podcast. So this is what a finished one would look like to you. Now, if I go back to create though, I have this kind of open area I can do here. The first thing you might wanna just play around with in practice is tapping that microphone and you're going to see the squiggly line on the mic and that shows that it's recording. When you finish, it's going to bounce it to the right here and you're going to see um, that, you know, you have some audio here. Quick tip, um, make sure you name each section. So when you get a recorded um, segment here, tap those little three dots and rename that segment because what happens with podcasts is you're going to want to clip stuff. You're going to want to add stuff. And it's going to have a whole, um, you know, long list of different segments. So the more you can name those, the better. And I would try to encourage you to come up with some kind of system so you know the order. Like even if that's numbering or whatever it is, just knowing the order of what that is is really important. So over on the left here, you have that recording microphone. You have also this ability to record with friends. If you click get started, it's gonna send a link. It's gonna give you the chance to send a link to someone, invite friends there. We're not gonna do that now, so we're gonna cancel. You also have a library. This is gonna have everything you've ever recorded. This is also where you can import up at the top there. There's that import button. And when you tap import, 
Um, mine's connected, I think, right away to my Google Drive, and then it defaulted back to the iCloud Drive. But I'm always going to use my Google Drive here. And if you look up at the top, these colors are really not good looking, but you can um, add up some different stuff. And if you go back to browse on the left, you can choose different sources that you might want. So locations on my iPad, and then I can find um, any recordings that are on my iPad as well. So that's how we can import audio into here. Um, I also use Anchor on just the computer on a browser, and it's really easy to import any audio into that. It's a lot easier than on the iPad. But again, if you're just recording from your iPad, this is a really easy place to do that from. You're gonna have voice messages, so people could actually call in and leave you a voice message. So if you just needed an, a, a sound bite, you could say, hey, could you just call this and leave um, some information? And then interludes are little like musical interludes between segments. You should have heard that in the example one we played in class, those kind of musical um, in-betweens that help to break up the narrative. And then any sounds, I've never used these, but I, I, you could, I guess. So when you're ready, you're gonna click Create. And under that Create button, as we see here, um, you can choose any of those options. Obviously, the, the main thrust of any podcast is just going to be what you're actually saying. A good journalistic podcast is not just you talking, but you interviewing people about a topic. So again, the examples we see in class are going to show that you're, you're getting a lot of content from other people. And then your job, just like when you write an article, is to fill in between, to give the context, to help to string together meaning, to give information. Some things you need to include in your podcast is an introduction, so some kind of thing that says, hi, welcome to, and then name your podcast, and I am this person, and then set up what the podcast is going to be. So like in today's podcast, we're talking about this thing. So give the listener an overview of what you're talking about. That implies that you have some kind of outline, right? So before you record a podcast, I need you to make an outline of what that podcast is going to be about. People don't really want to listen to people just chatting among friends. It's fun among friends, but for audiences, that's not as good. So make sure there's a plan for that. And then you give the information during the podcast. And at the end, what's really important from our journalism standpoint is that you say, thank you for listening. For more information, check out jesuitnews.com for you know podcasts, articles, whatever outro you want to give. You want to give some kind of overview of where they can find more information and always link it back to jesuitnews.com. You want to be pushing that narrative so that people know where you're located, who you are, um, what your qualifications are, and um, what is supporting kind of this effort for you. Once you finish your podcast, um, you can click publish here and you want to include an episode title and we want to call it something very specific. Um, so you can call it episode one or something like that, colon, um, whatever, you know. If it's an actual podcast, right, you're going to have a name for that podcast as well. Um, so for instance, here I have lessons on podcasting for high school students. I can add the season number, the episode number, uh, episode type, full, and then I can click publish. Once I click publish, it is going to publish to Anchor. And then Anchor sends it out to Spotify. It sends it out to Google Podcasts. It sends it out to kind of everything. And that's why Anchor's super nice because it's free and it puts it on Spotify really easily so that that way we can embed it on our website and make it easy for anyone to listen to. People can subscribe to your podcast also that way. In the advanced version of podcasting, we're also going to use Anchor, but the way you record it is really outside of this app, and we just use this app to publish it. So stay tuned for that overview of podcasting. If you have questions about podcasting, we have great people in the class who can help you with that, and I'm, of course, always willing to help you um, develop and walk through your podcast. One last tip is if you're recording with your iPad, we have good microphones that can plug into your iPad and it's going to help your audio 100%. So I'm going to stop streaming here. Excuse me. There we go. And um, I wish you good luck on this project. If you want to do a podcast, 
One of the things we're focusing on, though, is making sure that we don't have a whole bunch of different podcasts, but that we have a few really good podcasts and that we have multiple people working on those podcasts. So you're working in teams basically on podcasts rather than everybody's kind of doing their own podcast. All right, good luck, ask questions, and I hope you um, try it out, give it a shot. You should learn how to make a basic podcast. It's a, it's a good skill to have in the journalism world.